All right, we are at it with top 48 at Big Cheese 4. How are we all doing, everyone in the chat? I hope we're all having a wonderful afternoon. It is now 12, 12, 13 Adelaide time. If you're in Victoria, that'll be 12, 43. We have a, a very interesting set coming up. We have Jacko versus Fumble. Now, I'm not sure who Fumble plays, but I know that Jacko is a cheeky Diddy Kong. So, I'm going to get some interesting things. I'm going to backfill for five minutes until your other co-com tanker gets here. I'm going to fill the space. So you get, you guys get me for like a game or two. It's going to be very exciting. Now, oh, guys, yeah. I've heard a rumor about Big Cheese 5. Now, I would like to preface this by saying I'm not, I'm not affiliated with SA Smash. But I heard for Big Cheese 5, if it happens, let me ask you a question. What's the first thing you think of when you think of cheese? Tell Australia. The smell, of course. Okay, sure. Yeah, yep, yeah. smell. <laughs> what is one thing Big Cheese is missing? The smell of cheese. Oh no! So we can go two two methods. This is what I'm. Uh, this is what I'm hearing. Of course, I'm not making any of this up. It's either going to be scented candles and Dr. Cheese, or what we do is we get some some real fancy smelly cheese, put it under the monitor, so that each each player gets the aromatherapy <laughs> of cheese. Now that's just a rumor. It could go either way. <laughs> Look, Saturday. That sounds awesome. Sunday, I don't want to be in the venue. <laughs> <laughs> We're setting it up on Friday, so you know, you get the real walk. Oh, so Saturday I don't want to be in the bit. Yeah, of course. Alright, coming on. Game 1, PS2. Three Three best games, yeah, that's... This is, this is actually... I, I personally asked for this one on stream. Because I know Jacko has Nikes, obviously, in South Australia. Mm -hmm. And has Yoshi experience, and... On the flip, Fumble has Ryan and has, has other Diddy experience. Yeah, okay. So, and they're, in terms of seating, they're both quite close. Like, they're pretty pretty evenly seated. So, I, I, I this this would actually be a really, uh, like, a really close game. Yeah, of course. It would be definitely interesting. I've never played against Ryan personally, but against Nike's, I know Nike's advantage state is something ferocious. So, not sure how Fumble plays, but that's something Jacko may be aware of. It would be interesting to see what happens. Jacko is just impossible to hit at the moment. He took 70 and just said, alright, I'm going to start using all of my movement. And doesn't want to get touched. Yeah, a bit of a nightmare for Yoshi. If Diddy doesn't want to play into your shield, it can be definitely difficult to get into, you know, get some advantage there going. Because besides just banana, if Jacko starts using his uh, catch aerials with holding banana, Bear just becomes this huge walling tool. And you can't do any, like, you're a Diddy player, right? Okay. But you've got, you've got, like, weird, weird, like, tripping while they're in shield, like, shield pokey banana things, right? Yes. Does that work on Yoshi with his shield being on No, it actually doesn't. So, Yoshi's one of the characters that you can't force, uh, force trip. There are a few, and it depends on which side you're on, if you're doing a down toss. But Yoshi is fortunate in the sense that his egg shield just covers everything, and you don't need to worry about any of that nonsense. Yeah. And you just hold shield and be chilling for days. So we've been seeing Jacko chasing around, looking for an opening. Unfortunately, misses the banana up smash, but he gets it that time. We 140, have that'll kill it. 140 is going to do it. I feel like Yoshi's really hard to get banana chops on. Though. He's always jumping, right? Yeah. And you're like, if you like down to an up smash and it's not completely true, he just armies through everything. Yeah, correct. I feel like that'll just be a pain. Yeah, something that actually goes unnoticed is banana obviously will only trip if you're on the ground. And oh, Ooh. that's gonna do it. That was a cheeky little little jab lock there. That's a nice jab reset. Yeah. I didn't I didn't see that one coming at all. Little, little love tap from the nair into death. That was yeah. only like 80 as well. Yeah, Yoshi's forward nice, very powerful tool. It's definitely, it's just been playing up stuff early, but we've seen here Jacko with a bit of a lead. 72 percent. Still nothing to scoff at. He's playing very hit and run. He doesn't like, doesn't want to be committing to anything. Those Yoshi hitboxes are like obnoxious to work with. Yeah. That's a nice little catch off later. Banana in hand definitely makes it a bit harder for Diddy to do things. One of your main tools just going with that. He's not oh. going to be dead. Doesn't opt to just F smash. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to, as Diddy play it, you don't know if he's going to actually connect, next, so you just want to play it safe. But uh, here we go, cleaning it up. Jacob with a strong lead here. Bumble trying to get in. Not much luck. More banana saved live than auto drop saved is alive. Yep, pretty good. So that was, that's going to be some percent. Went for a combo starter, that's cheeky. Yeah. Jacko knowing. I'm oh, sorry. I was, I was just going to say, like, can you react to how fast they're mashing that? Does the egg, like, shake faster? 
Uh, I imagine it does. Um, <laughs> if it does, then it, I, I put that down to Fumble's awareness of seeing the egg and going, alright, so like, I'll go for the combo start and try to yeah. catch you like, getting out of the egg. The unfortunate thing though with the egg is, and, and I may be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure if you you have more frame advantage, so you can just air dodge away, or if you land on the ground, um, you can call shield. Getting a DI mix up on the down throw. Definitely not sure this late percent. Ooh, good catch. Oh, got, a way to pull, got to find a way to pull this back. Start landing some more hits and stay a bit more in advantage state. But Jacko ending it out with a down, yeah, down to the up smash. But tried and true. No banana needed. No banana. Very. I love that jumper, dude. Jacko's jumper is so cool. Oh man, it's actually so nice. I'm really good at from. Jacko, very dominating game one. Do what Bumble can pull out. What about stages for what? Smashville? Smaller stage? Yeah, I can I imagine. Center platform's always nice. Alright, Pet, that's my one and done. Your co commentator All is right. here. Thank you for having awesome. me. It was a lovely time. I've lied to you so fast. Forever share in bracket? Yeah, he's in redemption. Ah, um, still playing. Um, yeah, I've got to play around two brackets and find commentators. And <laughs> yeah, it's it's an experience. But yeah. hey, people are being pretty easy to work with, so that's good to hear. Kind of chill. I don't mind being on a mic. I always enjoy this. It's like the one thing I do all the time, so I'm chilling with it. Yeah, it's nice. But hey, yeah, look at that. So Fumble's picked a smaller stage, possibly to his detriment. I feel like. Being able to sit center stages dead here with banana in hand, you can command so much respect across like so, like what little of space there is. Similar to how swordies are so good on this stage, right? Because it's like you sit under that plat, and you've just got this big fucking sword. Yeah, I imagine the fumble maybe considering stopping Jacker from just fucking banana because we did see a lot of Jacker just kind of running away, getting like his head a uh, hit and run, and then going back resetting, pulling banana. So perhaps that's what fumble is chasing. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, um, maybe make it yeah, make it a little bit more brawly, a little bit more, you know, like don't, don't give him the space to pick banana, but Jacko with a lovely whiff punish catching and landing from that Nair and sealing out a very early stock, only fifty only fifty percent on the board. Solid lead from Jacko in here. Oh I love not overcommitting into Yoshi, that's the one thing you can't do. I think Jacko's experience is very much showing him. Bob is only relatively new ish to Yoshi, like sure. In the, in the grand scheme of things, like Jack has been playing Ditto, Ditto since day one sort of thing. Who did Fumble used to use? Um, played, oh, they've been through the characters over the years. I think their last character was Greninja. Oh, sure. And before that, might have been like Bowser Jr. or something. Yeah. Yeah, so, still relatively new, but, you know. I, I, I vibe with it. If you're playing what you enjoy, you know, who cares how much you switch around if you're just doing what you find, what you find fun. Yeah. I vibe with it. Jacko incredibly dominating. We've seen so many monkey flip grabs this game. After like all the punishing bears from last, clearly Fumble is. Oh, oh no! no. I still oh, jump. He's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Down tilt bear. Cheeky Jacko's combo. Running with this one, though. This is a whole different ball game. He's just happy to scrap now. I wonder if it's just a confidence from winning game one. Oh, he yeah, very well could be. Two stocks at lead. Two stocks ahead. It's gonna be a bit rough. Hey, look, look, we've seen the like explosive kill power of Yoshi in super early percent. This is still definitely very winnable. I like this egg toss usage now. Not committing off the of stage, trying to hold stage presence and just... Just taking it easy, taking a breather. Annoying him with egg toss. Stopping, you know, 3%, stopping coming back. He's got to find an opening to kill, take the stock out before too much percent gets racked up, though. Yeah, Jacko moving around. There, there we go. Oh. Beautiful use of that banana against Diddy. That's going to seal out of stock now. You've only got to climb back one somehow. You know, uh, Yoshi combo, especially on Smashville with a center platform, you can get a 0 to 70 super easy. And speaking of, here we go, big damage, 30%, not bad. I mean, if, if Fumble catches this Diddy off stage once, it's dead. It's oh, nuts. yeah. Like, you'll kill the Diddy so I've, well. Ironically, I found as Diddy, it's scariest being off stage below 40%, because if you get hit with a no knockback move, you just die. And yeah, it just drops the barrels, right? You don't actually go anywhere. And you, you, you just plummet to your doom, yeah. Jacko losing a bit of momentum here. Monkey Flip Kick gonna regain center stage. Yeah, and here we see, even though Jacko's in the lead, Fumble's just, you know, literally just controlling the center of the stage. 
Yeah, turning yeah. Jacko from landing at all. Jacko in a bit of a pickle here. Yeah, Jacko is going from like 30 to 135 in the space of about 10 seconds. Yeah. And just because Fumble's been able to hold like center so well and just commander that like space that both of you need to be in. Yeah, and approaching first, you know, being a Protoss so match is so different. And even though Jacko had such a big lead, Fumble's bringing it back, clawing it back. Only 100%. It's winnable. It's winnable. You get him off stage, like Fumble's starting to use those grabs a bit more. You don't really have combos with grabs with Yoshi. Yeah. But, you know, just, just, to, just to get that position, because he's finding himself hitting a lot of shield like that. Well, Fumble took, what, 30% last sock, if that? Oh, that was good. Something like that. He needs, to, he needs to land here without taking too much. And then a reversal's the way to do it. Uh -oh. Here's where the combo starts. Fumble's back in advantage. And uh oh, big damage. This is Jacko's Jacko. game to lose. Oh my goodness. Jacko not opting to up smash out of shield. A great get off me option versus Yoshi. Oh, yeah. that's going to be it. Yeah. Unfortunately, good. that down tilt hits and that'll seal out the game. Oh, very it good. is. It is best of five. Best of five. Down. That's not the set going for Fumble. He's still got another game to run with here. Okay. Jacko needs to pull his head back in, making sure that these games don't invade him. Fumble considering where to go. Looks like perhaps a Visible character change? thought. V visually <laughs> thinking. Visually <laughs> thinking. The cogs are turning. I do love music select. I love this mod pack. It's got so much cool stuff on it. Uni music being on it is incredible. I like every game I've played has had like Eunice music, Melty Blood music, or Blazeby music. And like we're just playing other fighting games. <laughs> yeah. Also love how there's like so many hidden tracks that aren't in the main game. Like Sonic has what 105 now. Yeah. There's like a hundred Final Fantasy songs. It's someone I, I walked in the other day and someone was playing like a Final Fantasy 13 like a super obscure like song that plays in one area of the game. And I was like, oh my god, like someone else knows this. Like <laughs> that's so good. Remember when Final Fantasy only had two tracks? Oh my god. Oh, what a nightmare. Sadness. And then with, with Sephiroth, we got another like five. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Game three. Smashing it out. Yoshi vs. D Kong. A bit of a longer stage in Smashville. Yeah, very, very similar. So, same layout, but this one gives a little bit more space at least, and a little bit more. Even even those walls, like, I, I don't know if Yoshi has the wall jump. I'd assume not, basically. No, I don't imagine. But. It, it gives it, it opens up like wall clinging and all those little things for uh, Jacko if he wants to if he really gets into a pickle and needs to make use of those so yeah. little mechanics that can come in handy. I just realized oh no this was not Jacko's counter. No no this was Fumbles. Yeah. So I, I think Smashville would have been banned and Fumble just picked the next like closest thing. Yeah. Personally I don't like the stage much as Diddy. I, I feel like it has merits. It is essentially FD with a center platform, but yeah, I don't know, it just feels a bit awkward. It's just a little bit polarizing. It's the same same concept as Smashville. You control that center area and you just kind of... If you're not like on like in center stage, you're in disadvantage. Yeah. And it's kind of just... Eh. But hey, it's a much more even game. Losing a stock to down air at like 140, that's fine. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's, that's fine. It's just, you, like this Diddy's in very much in kill percent. Yeah. I don't quite rate Jacko's holding banana at late and shield. It's not... Yoshi can get away with it, just with like a free jump or a drop down there. But, um, yeah. Fumble catching the landing, cleaning it up, making it a more even game. Much just jumps game through here. the dash tag. God, that's so great. Ooh, that's a cheeky little catch, though. No access to Banana now. We just Z drop aerials and everything. He can get away from this Diddy as long as he can. Beautiful roll read. Racking up percent. Jacko is panicking. These air dodges do not need to be done. Looks to me like uh, like uh, Fumble's kind of um, warmed up a bit. You know, it looks like the nerves have been shaken off. Yeah, there's, there's, those on-stream nerves do have, especially at a major, right? Like, oh, 100%. They, they kick in, and I, f I, I feel like, yeah, he's, he's definitely warmed up, but I think Fumble Fumble might be one of those players. I don't know too much about, like, I've played some friendlies with them, but I don't know too much about them in tournament. Mm -hmm. But they might be one of those players that kind of take a couple games to, like, warm into what they're versing and click onto how to yeah. deal with things. And, you know, one of those reverse 3-0 monsters that you see all the time. And it, that, that could be very much fun with thing, but Fumble's item play is actually phenomenal right now. Yeah. They are catching this banana out of the air like nothing. Like, Jacko can't get his hands on it. Yeah, that's definitely true. I did appreciate how Jacko didn't actually chase up the banana that time. I mean, Yoshi got it, but he also got a free back air in. And, oh, this might be it. No, unfortunately not. Lovely punish. Not going to kill Yoshi, a thick boy. He heavy as you know. I, I, I do appreciate that Jacko didn't get hit by the shield break from Yoshi, the down B. Uh, 
That feels bad. Because you're like, I, I, I know not to get shit by that. I feel like, I feel like, yeah, you think, you're like, I know not to get hit by that. Love was back, yeah, baited out the, the wake up there. That was, that was awesome, but... Yeah, yeah, I feel like you, you have the presence of mind not to get hit by it, but when you're in a tournament, you see it, you just freeze up, you're like, ah, oh, shielding is safe. You're like, you're like, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> yeah. This is the most even game we've had this set, though. There's no real comeback needed. Both players kind of dying at the same percents, where we're consistently around the same mark as each other. But Fumble's advantage state is actually a lot more impressive than Jacko's this game. It's almost like he's kind of worked out how Jacko wants to play. Yeah. One opening for Jacko is getting him more, but Fumble's keeping Jacko in those disadvantaged positions for a lot of time. And Yoshi's aerials do big damage. 13%, I think fresh is 30... Oh, well, sorry. Fair is 13% fresh. That's crazy. So it's, you know... Oh, no, oh that this might be it. it. No. Only the forward air. That's all right. I don't think forward smash will kill to that percent, but... Oh, that's yeah, going to do it. That's Clean 3-0 from Jacko. Jacko playing super well. That's definitely, it. definitely pulled that last game back. I was shaking in his boots a little bit there. A little bit stressed for that last game. Fumble was playing a lot better, uh, but unfortunately couldn't quite close it out. And that set's going to go to the way of South Australian Jacko. Yeah, it always feels weird. Oh my God. We have a real...